Christ, that was rough. Listen up, all my people in the residential business model that are running these particular snow tractors, John Deere 4066R in particular, and the Kubota L6060, we got something really special to share with all of you so that you save yourself a lot of headache this winter. Please stay tuned. Okay, Eric, listen, give us the rundown. Talk to everybody about a lot of issues we had over last winter when it came to breaking a bunch of parts in the rear end. Yeah. So there is a lot of effort that uh, the, the tractor is doing with all this weight in the back, right? So many of the pins will suffer, right? Especially uh, on the other side. In here, you know, this was right in here. I had to get a very, very like strong bolt because they were just snapping the ones that come from factory. From these always would break on us. Yes. These two pins all the time. And over the winter, we realized a lot of our 4066 R's that we have here because we bought them slightly used. As you could see, we got tons in the fleet. They were a really, really rough ride and we always broke a lot of rear end parts. And that brought Eric to being like, okay, maybe there's something wrong with our hydraulic accumulator, as you guys could see right there. And tell everybody a valuable lesson we learned about the hydraulic accumulator just get it fixed get it fixed we just uh fixed that one number nine this is number 10 number 10 we checked the accumulator the nitrogen is gone there is no nitrogen in it and uh we want to show you on our on the ride in here in a little bump how a hell of a difference it makes to have it filled or not so Stay tuned for this one, yeah, guys. Okay, so here's one of the John Deere 4066 R's with no nitrogen in the accumulator. So the accumulator was obviously purchased stock with the tractor uh, probably about five years ago, four years ago, depending on how old the model is. And we're gonna show you the difference of how hard this blower bangs on the back of the tractor. As you guys could see, that was really, really rough on the rear end. You just seen that blower fly up in the air and smack back down on the rear end. And this is why we had a bunch of broken parts last year when it came to the rear end of all of our 4066Rs. So some of our new Kubotas, the new 4066Rs, when you get the accumulator, obviously they are brand new on the machine and they got nitrogen in them, which means they're they're absorbing the shock of that blower. They're good to go. However, when you let them sit over the years, the nitrogen begins to come out of the cylinder year after year after year. And the more use on that hydraulic cylinder, of course, the more the nitrogen leaks out and then you are left with an accumulator that doesn't even work. So here's an accumulator that is about six years old, five or six years old on this older John Deere 4066R. I think it's a 2019 model or 2018 model. And uh, we just refilled the nitrogen on it and see how much of a difference this makes on your end, guys. This is huge. Check this out. barely even moved. You can't even compare, like you actually can't compare. And being inside the tractor is like a whole other world. Like I can't believe we had no nitrogen and these older 4066 hours we bought from last year. Like anyways, guys, fill up your nitrogen, your accumulators, moral of the story. I hope this video was as good value to you if you're in the snow business, because this just saved us a lot of downtime, broken parts and major issues. So if this is any value to you guys, please subscribe to the channel because we're always trying to teach you guys everything about this particular model. And uh, the more we know, the more you grow, and the more we can all help each other, right? Of course.